Hello, today we'll be replacing the brake calipers and the brake pads on the 1986 Toyota pickup. We'll start by removing the spring which holds the brake caliper guide pins. You want to press down and out on the hooked area of the retainer. And we can now push out the pins. And we can remove the second spring retainer as well. And we want to compress the brake caliper by prying against the rotor. And we can now remove the brake pads. And this is not what you want to see when you remove the brake pads. And that's all brakes really leaking from the brake caliper. And you can see that the seals are all torn apart. And to remove the brake caliper, you want to start by loosening the brake line. To avoid stripping any corners, it's best to use a flare and a wrench. And now you want to loosen the two caliper bolts. These bolts were really tight, so you want to use a long ratchet. And now to completely remove the brake line. This is the part number for the brake caliper on the left side. The brake caliper I'm using comes with all the hardware. And these are the brake pads I'll be using. And now to install a new caliper. You want to be sure to start the brake line by hand. So as to not damage the threads. Once you get the brake line started, you want to install the two bolts. And we can now start tightening everything.
I loosened the bleeder screw so that gravity could get the air out of the caliper, making bleeding the caliper a lot easier. It took about three to five minutes so the fluid started coming out. But as soon as that happened, most of the air got pushed out. And now the caliper is full of fluid. But it still needs to be bled to be on the safe side. But first I gotta complete the replacement of the other caliper. And now to install the brake pads. And I start by putting brake lubricant on the spots where the caliper presses on the brake pad. It doesn't have to be that much. And I found this to work a lot better than any seat that for any squeaks and squeals. I install the ends of the springs into the brake pads.
And lastly, I'm going to install the last clip. And that completes the brake caliper install for the driver's side. And this is the part number for the passenger side. And this is the brake pad install for the passenger side. And lastly, what we want to do is bleed the brakes. For this part, it's always best to have a helper. You want them to pump the pedal five times and hold it. Then you open the valve on the caliper. And after opening the valve, hopefully the fluid will come out without any air bubbles in there. You want to quickly close the valve again. And after closing the valve, your helper can release the brake pedal. You do not want to release the brake pedal while the valve is open. You want to be sure to remove all the air bubbles from the brake fluid. And then repeat for the driver's side. And this is what your passenger side and driver's side brake caliper should look like. And that just about completes the video on replacing the brake calipers. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.